Award-winning photographer Trevor Porter is a familiar sight in the towns and villages of Wiltshire, toting his faithful camera as he covers all the important news events for the Wiltshire Times. Now Trevor's dedication and passion for his work has won him the NewsQuest Unsung Heroes Award. Group editor Gary Lawrence is delighted that NewsQuest, which publishes more than 200 newspapers nationally, has recognised Trevor's devotion. It encapsulates Trevor for me. It's one particular instance when um, they were filming Harry Potter in Lakeup, which is a little village, and they filmed a few of the films there. And the world media wanted to get in on this film set because it's a real big thing, and it was at the height of the Harry Potter craze. And photographers from all over the world were trying to get onto this set. And Trevor being Trevor, got there ridiculously early, way before the film crew got there, probably about five or six hours before, got himself into a pub that looked over the high street where they were filming. He, he managed to somehow find out what the filming schedule was. So he got into this pub, he went upstairs and he, he got into a room and just hid there for, I don't know, five or six hours, maybe longer than that, until filming started. So he was able to peep over the window and get a picture of this film being made that the whole world's media wanted. And it was a fantastic picture and it was on the front page and everybody was really angry that we had the picture and nobody else did. It's not just the photography that we rely on him for either. He's, he's got that, that kind of ethic that if something needs doing, he'll go and do it. So whether it's repairing something that's broken, whether it's replacing a toilet seat, whether it's sweeping the yard because there's leaves building up on the yard and it's dirty, he'll go and do that. And it's not just that, us that appreciates him. He got a commendation from the police for his services to the community a couple of years ago from the chief constable. So what made Trevor become a press photographer? And what is it like working in the field today? I've come into this job from doing the promotion of uh, motorsport. Um, the guys I was asking for pictures when I was writing motorsport weren't coming up with the goods, so I taught myself the pictures. I spent several years uh, as a freelance and then went in to work for the Wiltshire Times uh, full-time, oh, ten odd years ago. Okay, so nice and relaxed. We do a couple of snaps, that's fine. That's lovely. When you get up in the morning, you just don't know what the day is going to throw at you. Um, I've been very lucky. I've been to uh, a lot of overseas doing the stories of um, the guys from Wiltshire uh, in the military services working abroad, then Afghanistan, Iraq, Bosnia, Kosovo, and Sierra Leone, where I was very uh, lucky to be selected by a load of photojournalists going over to do the importance of the TA. And there I met and photographed a 12-year-old boy um, who was walking down the Red Cross Hospital minus a leg with his um, drip hanging down. This means a lot to me, just looking at this picture. It means a lot from when I did that. That was one of the ones I always keep. In, yeah. And that was another siege with this guy I spoke to you about, the guy that was shooting at the police. Um, that was a bit hairy. That was when I actually talked myself into this woman's bedroom and mm. took a picture from the top window. I was really honoured to receive the uh, Gannett Award. Um, it, I, I just enjoy doing my job so much. Um, and to receive the award, well, it was over the, I was over the moon. I was lucky to get some money for, for the prize as well. I didn't realise it was coming with a cheque. And I was able to um, buy a long lens so I could actually go out and do a bit more, uh, a bit more sport. Thank you.